Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can activate NVIDIA DLSS. So one of the things running a DLSS actually requires is having a NVIDIA RTX graphics card. And you also have to have a DLSS compatible game which is able to run that. So the first step is to basically make sure your GPU drivers are up to date. If you don't have NVIDIA GeForce Experience downloaded, go ahead and download it from here. And then once you have it downloaded, we can go ahead and open it. So when you've downloaded it, it will look like something like this. And at the top left, there's an option to go home or to drivers. Now we're going to head over to drivers and make sure we have the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now you can click up here to check for updates to see if there is a new one. However, I've got the newest version, so it's not giving me an option to update. But if yours does need updating, you want to do that first if you want to be able to run DLSS. So the next step is basically to figure out if the game you want to play actually supports DLSS. So what you want to do is you want to come to this website here and it will give you a list and you can work out from there if your game is supported. So I'm going to be playing Modern Warfare 2 for this example and as you can see DLSS 2 is actually enabled. So I'm going to jump into a game now and we're going to look at the settings and figure out how we can actually enable this. So I'm in my game now and it will be different for whatever game you're playing but it should pretty much be the same thing throughout. So to start with you just want to first go into your settings and then look for the graphics settings. And from here, if, you're play if you are playing Modern Warfare 2, you want to select quality at the top here. As you can see, there's one option for upscaling slash sharpening. So if we drop this down, here we can see NVIDIA DLSS. What we want to do is select this one, we click show more under here, and we can also change the presets. As you can see, there's four different options, and you can read through these now, and basically choose which one that suits you the best, and select that. And we can also raise up the sharpness to whatever we like. And then once we're ready, we just want to click apply settings down here and those settings will automatically be applied and you can now jump in a game and have DLSS activated. So I hope this video helps you. If it did, please comment down below that it works and like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.